Hello there. It failed, and now Nigel Farage will cancel them. This is a victory, the likes of which slaves around the world have never seen before. It will rock the blue world border to its very core. Even more so than when a people's anti-establishment anti-corruption party video gets more views than the standard 35. <laughs> like him or loathe him, Farage has really stuck it to the system. The NatWest House of Cards lies in ruins. They thought they'd eased Nigel Farage out of their bank, but Farage fought back and is now easing the NatWest hierarchy out of their jobs. That's right, the system is crumbling, and Nigel is showing the slaves that the Blue World border cannot get away with their exploitation of the slaves anymore. First he got an apology from the BBC, <gasps> and now, overnight, he's managed to force Dame Alison Rose <gasps> out of her mega bucks job as chief executive of that banking group. And now his sights are switching to NatWest chairman Sir Howard <gasps> Davies and Peter Flavel, <gasps> the boss of the NatWest subsidiary Coots, where Farage still has an account for the next few days or weeks until they shut it down. How long can Peter Flavel hold on now it's come to light that according to Nigel Farage, he sat back and did nothing <gasps> and did not even reply to <gasps> emails from the former UKIP leader as a result? NatWest shares have taken a tumble on the FTSE 100. And they said they wanted to rid themselves of Farage in case of reputational damage. So Nigel has given the banks the kicking they so obviously needed, and the slaves can now go back to work, paying off that $300 trillion debt the greedy bastards have built up over the years. I bet they're bitterly regretting that decision right now. <laughs> And it's not just Alison Rose blabbing about her client's personal financial information with a BBC reporter. And with the way inclusion is being exercised today, we the customers and taxpayers are being controlled by the public sector bodies and private institutions that are meant to serve us. <laughs> they have become our masters because they hold the power to cancel us. They also have the power to fool some people, mentioning no names, into believing justice is being done. People become too frightened to open their mouths or be open on social media in case their bank or their local essential service or even their boss finds out and cancels them. The customer is now not always right. That's because slaves have no rights. <laughs> As I've said before, the march through the institutions, starting from primary school right through to university, has proven to be extremely successful for those that wish to bring about a quiet, communist revolution in the West. There seems to be a bit of confusion in Jeff's and most slaves' minds as to what is the difference between communism and capitalism when if you were to ask a Blue World border leader, he could tell them straight away. He would say the difference is, it takes capitalists longer to realize they are communists, slaving for the top blue world border operatives. It's that simple. Because it places ever more lefty conditioned people into positions where the socialist system reinforces itself after every generation. Bless him. He talks about being a capitalist living in a communist society brought about by capitalists who are communists or not gang members like himself that has caused a communist system to come about in a capitalist system and if only more people like Nigel would stand up for the slaves, well, some of the deserving slaves that is, not down to the bottom slaves, as he is a capitalist and needs rewarding more than most, for his hard work and specialness. <laughs> These are the thoughts in Jeff's head and every slave in the Blue World Border system. If only, he and they, could think like the Blue World Order and share the world's wealth equally between everyone, 90% to them and 10% shared equally between the slaves. The world would be a better place. <laughs>